are the only species that have the uh, sickness that only goes through them. It's like uh, rabies, but kudu rabies. This man has gone crazy! Wow! Wow! It's an oryx, he's sitting there just staring at us. Dead center of the screen, guys. Still there as well. As if to say, what do you want done? Here you go. Beautiful, isn't that? Hi there, so as you've seen guys, we've just been out on a, on a game drive. We left here at about 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. You've seen the animals that we've seen. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little experiment. Tomorrow morning at 5.30, myself and Liz, we're going to go on a walking uh, safari. Try and uh, see what's the best option. Taking the car at 10 o'clock in the morning or walk in. We'll take you guys with us. We'll see you in the morning. So it's uh, 10 minutes to 6 in the morning. The sun's just coming up over at the back of me there. And me and Lizzie are out here trying to see if we can spot more animals by walking early in the morning than taking the, the car or the jeep around about mid-morning. Plenty of noises, but we can't see anything yet. We have, we've been walking for about 35 to 40 minutes and we've seen absolutely nothing. Not sure what that is, but we'll try and get closer. So guys, I think it's fair to say that by uh, taking the car, you've got a far better chance of seeing the animals. Um, walking, we just seen a warthog, we seen a small baby kudu, we think it was. Um, but as soon as that seen us, that bolted, we seen it for like a second. We seen plenty, plenty of droppings on the ground. 
But that was as close as we came to seeing anything big this morning. Eh? So there's another little video from uh, Kivo Lodge for you. Just keep you in the picture of what myself and Liz are up to. So until the next time guys, you take care.